Good to see you here. Today, instead of talking about Minecraft news, we start a new series. What is it, you ask? Well, welcome to my Minecraft guide. This is going to be fun. Trust me, you won't want to miss this. Now, I would like to point out that I did find this seed thanks to a Minecraft guide series by Waddles. So if you've watched Waddles, you may recognize this seed. With that out of the way, be sure to leave a like and subscribe, and let's get into this. All right, gang. Crucial step number one, bed. Crucial step number two, food. Crucial step number three, shelter. The important steps to the perfect start of any survival world. Bed, food, shelter. Speaking of which, mushroom. Very important. And let's take care of this. Use it for the only thing birch trees are good for. What is that? Sticks and crafting tables. I am not a fan of birch wood. At least not a very big fan. I mean, I'll use it if I need to, but birch wood isn't exactly my favorite. All right, step number one to any bed. Find some sheep. Sorry, little buddy. All right, that is one. Two, over here, give me a moment, and three, that one was stubborn, doesn't hurt to take out any spare sheep you see around you because that is a good source of food. So, be sure to do that, too. We'll discuss sheep farm ideas later, but right now we just need to focus on getting ourselves a food supply. And speaking of food supply, sweet berries. Very helpful in early game food supplies. Because you don't actually need water to plant these. You can just plant them, and given enough time, they'll grow on their own. However, I would advise you to be very careful, as after they mature a bit, they will harm you. So, do yourself a favor, and don't go into the berry bushes when they are mature, because they will hurt you. Trust me, I have made that mistake before and paid for it with some damage. So, to protect your armor, do not go in the berry bushes. And there we have it. The world's first bed. So let's make some dye. First red bed of the world. And take up our crafting table. And then boom, nighty night. Forgot to turn the F3 screen off. Sometimes I use that to guide myself. But that's just me. Do any of you use the F3 screen to guide yourselves? I like to, because sometimes I get lost. <laughs> On a different note, Another important step, I didn't show you getting the cobblestone because that would be the boring mining part. Another important step is getting cobblestone so that you can actually get things like furnaces or stone pickaxes. Very important step. Because the furnace will allow you to do things like cook that raw mutton you got when you were taking out those sheep. 
Very important. Do not forget that. Trust me. So we're going to want to actually use the furnace. And this is where the extra sticks come in. So we place our furnace friend. Stuff our sticks in here. Good early game fuel source. Sticks. Of course, you can always use planks. Or even these logs here. But sticks are a good source, as they are easier to get in bigger quantities than these logs here. But then again, the planks can also be gotten in good quantities, so I guess the planks are also better than the logs, but that is just me. Alright, I, I got a question for you guys. What do you think about grabbing some of that granite? I got an idea. Uh-oh. All right, maybe we should have mined ourselves an escape route first. But you know what? We are resilient on this channel. We will figure it out. Won't we? Oh, boy. Oh, mama. No, 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 no. Mining and escape routes. Should have done this at the start. Shoot. All right. Make sure we get this escape route nailed, gang. Otherwise, we are toast. We are not ready to fight skeletons right now. We do not have the armor. Alright, stay away. Leave me alone. Please die in the sunlight. Is that thing in the shade or something? Shoot! Oh well. As long as we ignore it, it'll be fine. Alright gang, what do you think of starting over here? This is going to be fun. You know what time it is. Time to eat. Because if your health gets too low, you will start to starve. And you don't want that. Now, time-lapse time. Let's have some fun.
All right, that's done. Whew, that took a while. Well, what I'm thinking is we need a little more loot. So, we're going to talk about shipwrecks and buried treasure. I will see you at the beach. All right, here we are. Now, I know what you're thinking. Pacer, you have the F3 screen on again. Well, this time, I left it on on purpose, because if you pay attention to it, in the block section, in the brackets, there's an 8, and a 7, and a 0. Now, as you can see, that moves. Now, why does it do that? Because when you're looking for buried treasure, you're going to want to use this thing and move until it says 9 and 9. Then you're going to want to dig there. And make sure you don't drown in the process if you're in a place like this. And there you have it. Let's go up and get some air for a sec. Turn off F3. And poof. And there we have it. We have some iron. We have a heart of the sea. We have some fish. TNT, some gold, some emeralds, and oop, there we go. Like I said, be careful. Iron sword. Let's make sure we have all of the health we can get so we don't die, right? So that would be embarrassing. And while we're at it, let's take the chest with us, just for fun. Oh, careful, quick. Oh, oopsies. Alright, gang. Got my stuff, and as you can see, I found a shipwreck that is not underwater, which is helpful because it is nighttime and I do not have a bed. Another little tip. If you're out and about and you don't have a bed at night time, box yourself in somewhere until daytime. But be sure to find some way to leave a little crack so you can actually tell if it's daytime or not. That'll make your life a lot easier. Ooh, iron. Ooh. Ooh. Lapis lazuli. Good, good. That's helpful. Hmm. Not seeing anything else in this one. It's looking like that's it, gang. Not 
seeing anything else, blue eyes. Just from hopping around, looks like that's it. Well, we found a shipwreck and we found some buried treasure. Very important stuff, gang. Very important stuff. Do not forget to search for shipwrecks and buried treasure when you're in your survival world. Because they will help you a lot, believe me. You won't regret searching for the loot. It'll be really helpful, as you saw. Well, gang, this has been an interesting episode. Not sure what we'll do next episode, but it'll be fun. So, stick around for that. This has been episode one of my new Minecraft guide series. I hope you enjoyed. And be sure to like and subscribe, because I'll see you in the next one.